What's up, everybody? My name's Tony, and welcome back to some more medieval. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, last time we went through those pumpkin patches, we fought the pumpkin king, we got a dragon gem, and we also got a longbow and a spear. And now we're heading into the sleeping village, so I'm assuming we're going where all the trouble is. This town was once so lively. What is the opposite of lively? Deadly. Yes, that is what this town is now. Why is there a rune hovering over its mouth? Oh god, I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> Ugh. So I don't know how much longer I have on this game. I've only been playing this for like a good, what, few hours now? But I feel like I've gotten pretty far. Them some big ass rats. <laughs> Poor villagers, the master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. So, I don't hurt them, I hurt the guards? I mean. Where exactly am I going? Excuse you? Blacksmith's Monthly. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent. <laughs> Busts. <laughs> Old man Willie was quoted as saying, I, when I get pumping on me bellows, there's no stopping me. It's all in the rhythm. Up and down, up and down. I've always been inspired by the stories of Stan, your iron hewer. <laughs> the greatest smithy there ever was. Oh God, that accent woman. <laughs> so do I need to pump this thing? Silver shield! Up and down, up and down. Is there a point for me to doing this? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Unless I have to come back. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's not giving me an option for inventory either. Okay, it said not to attack them, but attack the guards. Oh. A crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Okay. <laughs> so this is like a, I have to recollect things, it seems like, without hurting any of the townsfolk. Um. Oh God, excuse me, little girl. A ghoul soul, a good soul has been lost. Was that not supposed to do that? No, no, I was supposed to do that. A good soul has been lost. Did I kill them by accident? I need a moon, a rune. Jesus wept, okay. Oh! Oh shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to res- Let me restart this level. Cause I'm not supposed to kill anybody. 
Ugh. So I have to basically dodge them, but it said to kill the guards. Okay, so I, I fucked up when I killed that little girl. Even though she was running around crying. Okay. Oh god, no. I'm aware. Okay. So I got it now. What? I can move this? Wait, why can I move this? Why can I move this? Why is this a thing? Is there something in here I can climb on? I don't see anything up there. I don't get that. Okay, whatever. We're moving on. <laughs> Alright, so don't kill anybody. I need to look for a crucifix in there. There's a moonstone in here. Okay, don't kill her, don't kill her. What's this? The rune key is held aloft by the flow of water from the fountain. You may have to wait for the next drought. So I have the moon rune. Excuse me. Okay, that's just one in there. There we go, Moon Rune. Oh! Oh, what? I don't understand how it, what? Another club. I need an earth room for this. Bust of Mr. Shanks, landlord of the troll's head. To clean the statue, lower the pedestal. Okay. We also need to look for an earth room. Stop. How do I lower the pedestal? Did I miss something? Lower the pedestal. Lower the pedestal, but how? Uh, 
What's up? Okay, that's the earth rune. Okay, I got the earth rune. I'm also out of a shield. Sir, okay, the landlord's bus. Okay, so I have that. Uh, stop it, leave me alone. I'm only at 61% on my chalice. Okay, that doesn't give me anything. I can knock them out, but I can't kill them. Where am I going? Hurry, comrades, tear this place apart. If we don't find a shadow artifact, Lord Zarak will have us knocking out these demons for the next millennium. Okay, these must be the guards. the chaos rune that's on top of the thing I can't access that oh thank you so I have a landlord's bust that's not what I'm needed here and use this no a crucifix one and I need to find a replacement Can I find a replacement crucifix? I wonder. This is here for a reason. so convincing because it had a bottom damn okay so that wasn't it tried you you didn't give me any results okay you're not helping me I 
can't go through there just yet either. Troll's head. The rune key is head. Okay, I've already done this area. So let's think this was a, yeah. Yeah, I've done that one too. I need the room for that. This was a dead end. What am I missing here? Okay, that's blocked. where I've been before. Ow! Okay, I've already got, this is where I got the bus from. So I don't need to be in here. So then where the hell am I supposed to go? That was a woman's house. That's locked. Not that I didn't do anything. This is the church. So I need to find a replacement for the cross. A crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look like. Wait, what does that say? Base melting metal. So I do need to take this to the whatchamacallit. this way the blacksmith I just don't know where to put the damn thing items can't be used here got to read it first Blacksmith's monthly. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town is awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding cast. Why are these people move? Items can't be used here. But I got a little bit of insight on what to do. Oh god. I think I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh god, I just killed a rat. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this. What is this? One mystery solved. Another one around here. Aha. 
There we go. Okay. So I got this room now. I'm also looking for a crucifix. What? History of Galamir. Hold up, let's go in order here. History of Galamir, Volume 1. During the dark time, it was Galamir's most heart. It was King Peregrine who thwarted Zerok the Necromancer and his plan to enslave the land. Zerok, once the king's mage, had fallen out of favor with the ruler for conducting outlandish experiments on the bodies of the dead. It was said that deep within Peregrine Castle, the dead were restless. The dead are to be honored, not kept the playthings of alchemists, declared King Peregrine as he banished Zerok from the castle. All of Zerok's living dead were routed out and destroyed. Zerok, being an unforgiving soul, went into hiding and vowed to wreak his revenge on the king. Mm. History of Whoa! Well, apparently he won't let me read. History of Galamir, Volume 2. Rumors of ill doing and dark deeds abounded through the land of Galamir. It was whispered that Zerah had employed the aid of shadowy demons to help build a vast castle. Under the cover of night, Zerok's dark army spilled forth from the corrupt haven. The army marched south across the Silver Mountains and through the Silver Woods. Soon afterwards, even the pumpkin lands belonged to Zerok. The folk of Gallows Town cried out for help. Save us, good King Peregrine. Retaliation was swift and violent. King Peregrine's forces, led by the brave Sir Fortescue, drove Xerox's army back from Gallows Town. Oh, there was much rejoicing, but the war was not yet over. Okay. Make sure he stays knocked out. History of Galomir, Volume 3. News that Xerox's army had now taken the Bloodlands caused much concern. From this vantage point, Xerox could march west to take the Enchanted Forest. This sacred place would prove a bitter defeat if it fell into the hands of the evil sorcerer. It was Sir Dan Fortescue who once again led the king's men to rid the demon host from the land. Yet the evil wizard was cunning and had prepared an ambush. Titanic battle ensued, of which history has never seen the like. It is said that the day would have gone to Zerun but for the skill and valor of one man. Fortescue led the charge deep into the massed ranks of the undead, felling Xerox's bodyguard, the fearful Lord Kodok, and before finally succumbing to his own mortal wounds, he slew the traitorous sorcerer with a mighty sweep of his sword. Okay. Out of here. History of Galamir, Volume 4. The forces of Peter were destroyed. None but a handful of the king's militia returned from that field. Galamir lost a whole generation of young men that day, including Canny Tim, the legendary crossbowman, and Fortescue's second in the first body of arrows. Xerox's body was never found. Though, if it lies unmourned in an unmarked grave, then no one in Galamir would shed a tear. The shadow demons that had fallen under Xerox's banner were unnatural creatures that did not belong in the world of mortal men. The king declared that they be banished, entombed under the pure earth of the enchanted earth. Imprisoned within an impregnable box of the king's design, the demons were buried deep underground. Their tomb was sealed with a magical device that has since come to be known as the Shadow Artifact. Hmm. Okay. Tourist guide to Galamir. Oh, he's still knocked out. Okay. Tourist guide to Galamir, part one. <laughs> the land of Galamir is a wondrous land of breathtaking sights 
an adventure. If it's beauty you are looking for, be sure to check out the sights of the enchanted forest. Scale the heights and see the nests of giant dragon birds. Seek out weird and wonderful plant life. Go ooh and ah at the sight of baby dragon toads splashing about in the crystal clear ponds. Why not take a walk through the Pumpkin Valley? Pumpkin is Galomir's favorite dish, and about now the valley is just bulging under the weight of young podlings awaiting harvest. Oh, that's nice. Tourist Guide to oh, God. Galomir, Part 2. If it's mystery you're looking for, then the seasoned adventurer should travel to the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Yes, this is the fortress from which the fabled King Peregrine once hailed. It is said that the king's crown was lost in the dungeons below the castle, and that the ghost of the regent himself now haunts these cold stone passageways. Spooky. <laughs> Why not take the swamps and seek out the mythical town of Melomy? This place was once said to be a place of fantastical arcane alchemy. But an age has passed since it was consumed by the murky swamps. Perhaps great treasure awaits any adventurer that can locate its watery resting place. Hmm. So it's laying out the locations of stuff. Heroes from history, a retrospective. Chapter one. In addition oh, to God. being the strongest man who ever lived. Stanier Iron Hewer was unsurpassed in his skill as a Okay, I'm not gonna go through all that, honey. There is something back here. There we go. The book! To whom it may concern. I mean the cross. Make haste, for Xerox men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It is the key to a key. I used the cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast falls into the hands of a just and good hero. Signed, the town mayor. Norman, Norman suffering of un... something. Found the tome of Bella Bone Baw dreaming within the guardrobe game we know your intention that be ye smell mocks no ye men of the book will not sit idle with while wog halter spurt about the hall we be thrunch curses of mary gal on ye on ye what all right crucifix oh okay i get it now so I need to head back to the blacksmith now. That was what I was missing, the cast. Okay. Also got a little bit of history lesson. All right, so, did I open this? That's why I restarted. All right, no. All right. Now what? Do I just keep doing this? There we go. All right. Now to the church. Get some of that good heals. Whoa. What the key? Oh. Dear sir, madam, on my travels across Galamir, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with deepest dread was that bully boy Zarok will stop at nothing what? to retrieve this item. I fear that he already knows that it is I who possess it. Yours fearfully, the town mayor. Okay. On my travels across Galamir, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with the deepest dread was the discovery of the Tomb of the Shadow Demons. The key to their dank prison, the mysterious shadow artifact, is now in my possession. Okay. She kind of skipped over it a little bit. But, oh, I guess we have information now. 
And that's over here, because I remember, like, get out of my way. Um, oh, wait, it's not that way. I'm going to leave that potion over there, because I might need it. Where am I now? Oh. There's the chalice. The chalice looks to be... Okay, okay. Geronimo! So I need one more. So I can't open that. So I need... What? Oh. I need one more enemy to defeat. Besides the chalice, am I missing something here? And I can't go back through here. Um. Oh, the chimney. this the safe key it's a hand the shadow artifact oh why does I feel like this is bad news get your control straight okay so now I need to find no not that way Okay. Um, this way, I think. No, not this way either. I'm so lost! Okay, here we go, here we go. Let me charge up my hammer. Oh, shit. Arrow of justice! No, that didn't do anything. Woo! Capture that lady puppeteer, the town mayor. Take him to the asylum dungeons. Give the fat boy a good going over. Locate the shadow part of it. Bring me back something nice. Okay. All right, so now that I have enough for the chalice, um, which direction was that? Is it? No, that's not it. Fudge! Yeah, here we go, here we go. Set C, hoppy, hoppy, hop. Oh wait, <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Jumpy! Hall of Heroes awaits. Okay. So let's get on out of here. There we go. Word! It's not their fault. They're something. All the. Okay. Back to the Hall of Heroes we go. That place was a little bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie. This is because there are a lot of rooms to go through. You're telling me.
Everything's at maximum. All right, who's gonna give me something cool now? Oh, it's, oh, oh. So we have one, talk to you, talk to you. Um, let's see what he has to say since I've already took in his item. Oh, Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. You fancy a little gamble, like? What is it? Oh shit, a flaming longbow. For those horn horseback, ready, aim, fire. Yes. Okay. So he had two weapons with him. All right, I see you. So now we also have a shadow artifact, and I don't know what that's used for. But they said that the shadow demons were locked in the enchanted forest. So let me see something real quick, because I know I completed part of it. I didn't complete it. Ooh, that means I have to go back there. Alright everybody, that's all I have time for for this playthrough of Medieval. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!